Hello and welcome to the Drone Man Scotland YouTube channel. This video is about Musselburgh's lost railway stations. But before we go on to the subject, firstly let's take a look at the two stations that are currently serving the area. Musselburgh Railway Station is a station serving the town of Musselburgh. It was opened by British Rail in 1988 and is located on the East Coast Main Line. The station can be found 5 miles east of Edinburgh and is served by the North Berwick Line. It has two platforms and is located near the campus of Queen Margaret University. This is the third station which has carried the name Musselburgh Station. Wallaford Railway Station is a railway station serving the towns of Musselburgh and Wallaford. It has two platforms and is located on the East Coast Main Line, seven miles east of Edinburgh. It was opened by Rail Track in 1994 and is served by trains on the North Berwick Line. There was a short-lived station on the site, which was opened by the North British Railway in June 1866, only to close in October 1867. But are you aware there were a further four stations which served the Musselburgh area, with little or no trace of their existence left on the ground? Inveresk Railway Station served the village of Inveresk, Midlothian, now East Lothian, from 1846 to 1964 on the East Coast Main Line. The station was opened on the 22nd of June 1846 by the North British Railway as Musselburgh Station, and it was the first station to carry the name. On 16th July 1847, the name was changed to Inveresk. Its name was then changed to Inveresk Junction on the 1st of October 1876, but then it was changed back again to Inveresk on the 2nd of June 1890. The passenger station closed on the 4th of May 1964 and the last good service ran on the 8th of May 1970. Thus, the station was closed completely the day after. This was a two-platform station with the platform running under Carberry Road. The main station building was on the eastbound platform with the waiting room on the westbound. The line remains open but no trace of the station remains. The second station to carry the Musselburgh Railway Station name was located at the car park opposite the Roman Bridge. Services were provided by trains on the Musselburgh branch. An existing station, also named Musselburgh, had opened a year earlier in 1846 on the East Coast Main Line. This station was renamed as Inveresk Railway Station when the 1847 Musselburgh Station opened. The station was opened by the North British Railway in 1847 on the newly constructed Musselburgh branch, which crossed over the River Esk into the centre of the town. On New Year's Day 1941, an accident occurred at the station involving a goods train which crashed into the buffers and demolished the bookstall, killing the female attendant. The driver of the engine was Mr John Hunter of Main Street, Tweedmouth, and the fireman was Mr John Welsh from Berwick. Both escaped injuries. The attendant who lost her life was Miss Ella Krause, aged 19, who lived with an aunt, Miss Pearson, at 2 South Street, Musselburgh.
rail track ran over the railway bridge down to Fisher Road Station. The bridge was later converted into a road bridge. The station was closed to passengers in 1964 and to freight in 1970. Most of the former track bed has now been converted for road use. The station site is now a car park. Fisher O Railway Station served the harbour of Fisher O from 1831 to 1961 on the Edinburgh and Dalkeith Railway. The station opened in 1831 by the Edinburgh and Dalkeith Railway. To the south was a depot that was originally a cold store, but later sold merchandise for Fisher O Harbour. The station closed to passengers on the 14th of July 1847, but it continued as a goods yard until 1961. The station was south of the harbour, site of which is now a small park and a petrol station. Very little remains of the railway in Fisher Road. The line ran down the east side of New Hales Road and a walkway follows the route. Finally, New Hills Railway Station, also known as New Hills Junction, served the town of Musselburgh from 1847 to 1950. The station opened sometime after the opening of the Musselburgh branch in 1847 and closed on the 6th of February 1950. This station and junction were controlled by a large signal box on the west side of the line and south of New Creek Hall Road. The box was tall enough to see over the bridge. The line remains open, but no trace of the station remains. But the track bed is now a footpath. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a wee like and feel free to comment. We would also appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. This will allow you to keep up to date with all the latest Drone Man Scotland content. Bye for now.